Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. My name is Annika and here at Tip Ranks we love to hear what different stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. Today we're going to take a look at NEO. Recently, there have been fears of a USD listing of stocks that don't comply to US auditing laws. This has particularly cast a shadow over Chinese stocks. The US Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, released a list of 80 companies that could be facing a delisting. This sent the shares of many included on the list to go spiraling down on Thursday. And Chinese EV maker NIO crashed by 15%. As you can see, the price fell from $18.15 to $15.21, which is where we're at. But even worse are the year-to-date losses of negative 54%. But despite this negative news, NIO actually released some positive news that can de-risk it from the US delisting. NIO has announced the proposed secondary listing on the main board of the Singapore exchange. The SGXST has provided NEO with a conditional eligibility and once the Singapore listing goes ahead, NEO shares will be fully fungible with its ADR, which is the American Depository Receipt shares. NEO didn't just turn to Singapore, it also turned to Hong Kong. Earlier this year, NEO already completed a secondary listing in Hong Kong. Despite all this, analysts are still bullish on NEO's stock price. The current price is $15.08 and the analyst rating consensus is a strong buy based on 16 ratings, 14 a buy and 2 a hold and 0 a sell. The analyst price target on NEO is $40.51, which is a 168.81% upside from where we're at, based on 16 Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets. Analyst Tim Hasayo from Morgan Stanley gives it a buy rating with a $34 price target, which is a 121.07% upside. He believes that the secondary listing on the Singapore exchange will likely alleviate investor concerns. Tim says that with full fungibility, NEO's dual listings in Hong Kong and Singapore should meaningfully hedge any potential USD listing disruption to operations and funding access. He said that with NEO's secondary Hong Kong listing likely to be converted to its primary listing in a year or so, per Hong Kong exchange regulations, we think the Singapore listing looks set to help NEO gain more traction by broadening its investor base. But NEO's problems are not only to do just with the US regulators. Their April sales have been dismal. April 2022 sales declined by 49% month over month to 5,074 units, which also represents a 29% year-over-year drop. Investors knew this was coming, as there were supply chain volatilities and other constraints caused by the new wave of the COVID-19 outbreaks in certain regions of China. That said, Morgan Stanley's Tim Hasayo thinks near-term execution will be vital to keep investors on side. He says that while soft April sales should have been well anticipated, investors are likely to keep a close watch over the resumption progress post China's May holidays, which is critical to NEO's ramp up pace for ET7 and the timing of a potential facelift for its incumbent SUV model. And this is positive news. Amidst the stiff competition, NEO is releasing three new EVs in 2022. It already began deliveries of the ET7, which is its first electric sedan, on March 28th. NEO plans to launch the ET5 in September and the ES7, which is a five-seater electric SUV before year-end. Despite this temporary setback, NEO is still expanding. It's not only expanding its capacity in China, but it's also growing overseas. It already sells electric vehicles in Norway and is expected to expand to 25 more countries by 2025. So guys, are you still bullish on NEO stock despite the temporary hurdles it's facing? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!